Like falling deeper, cold and nice, not no more shit. It's so stunning outside right now. Um, apologies, ignore my hair. I just woke up, but I'm able to see the sunrise today. I might go to the rooftop later today, actually. Um, or actually, I might just go to the rooftop now. But I was gonna make some lemon water first because I didn't turn on the humidifier last night before I went to bed. I woke up with like a super dry throat, so. <laughs> All right, this is the outfit for the day. Probably can't tell, but it's basically just me with sweatpants and a sweater. My ears are cold this morning, so that's why I have my hood up. down to the package room to pick up some packages and i totally forgot that we had ordered like a meal delivery kit and so I'm just gonna unbox it with y'all <laughs> got this weekly planner in the mail because i've been needing like just a week's overview planner for a while um the planner that i have right now is like it's more of a daily planner and some of y'all who have watched my like vlogs in the past probably noticed that i haven't been bullet journaling as much and it was just taking a lot of time and i think like before i started my nine to five i had like a lot of time on my hand to really take time to make those weekly spreads but now that i have a nine to five and I have, you know, just a lot of other things going on. I kind of like lost the interest in taking time to make the weekly spreads. But I'm excited to try this a new system out. I've also been kind of shifting to using Notion a lot as well now. Honestly, I feel like I'm still trying to find a good system in terms of like balancing like YouTube, social media, and work, and adulting, and personal life, and all of that stuff. So I'm still figuring out, I'm trying different systems, and if I find one that works for me eventually, I want to share it with y'all maybe like a little video on like how i stay organized and stuff but still in the process of that hello it is finally dinner time we got pasta at machiavelli today we passed by it like several times while we were walking in cap hill and like just never bothered to try it so we just felt like trying it today i got the fettuccine carbonara and then matthew got the fettuccine alfredo did you grab the spinachi? Oh, she smells so delish. Oh my God, yours smells so good. There we go. I'm gonna add some spinach to mine for extra health. We are watching the finale of 2521 tonight and I am so sad that it's gonna be over. We just got back from our little nightly excursion. We stopped by Pike Place and bought a bouquet of flowers. Look how pretty they are. I've been eyeing like the bouquets that they have at Pike Place Market for a long time, but I've never bought one for myself. But Matthew wanted to buy one today for me. I think it's so beautiful. Thank you, Matthew. 
So this is the only vase that I have as of now, and it is very small. I think I'm gonna get another vase like tomorrow or something, cause it looks so large. But this will have to do for now, whatever. It's so beautiful. Let us at least admire the beauty. Tofu is such an underrated protein, I feel. going on a little hike today we're heading to lake 22 which we've done before in the past but it was really cloudy and rainy last time it was my first hike that i did in seattle today is hopefully a little bit better and also sherry's coming with us so i'm excited We just had dinner, got some ramen, and I showered after we came back and bathed Shuri as well. Um, and then we ordered some ramen, and now we are all slumped. This one. 
one in particular is very sloped. Hey, 